Hello. Since my son here is sick today, my wife knew how hard that was on me, so she... Oh, a cat? Yeah, oh, yep, there's a cat outside. Uh, yeah, that's Mushmouth. Mush so, so she said, interrupt, she said that she got me two games in order to make me feel better about it, and it turns out she did. Good. So I thought it would be fun for you Caponophiles if we opened it up right now. Oh. Does that sound good? Okay. So this is our first one. It's Bus Depot Diner, and it's a Jim Daco game by Family Pack Songs. Copyright 2001, so this is a newer one, or maybe a newer game. It's a game. Oh, it's a game, so should we open it? Open. First, we gotta open. This is real shrink wrap here. We need to open that, don't we? Help me with that. Ow. Alright, so really beautiful, beautiful box. As you can see, um, someone someone made this picture, and it I, it looks like it's hand done. It's not a computer picture. Um, which I don't mind computer pictures. I just feel like it's like overdone. Maybe the use of computers for pictures is overdone. And there's something about this quality, though. You know, of course, computers were used. I think to put it on the box, right, to get it in the size. Uh, Should we open it? You want to uh, help me open it? Open. Open it. Okay. Oh, what's that? Okay. Oh, there's an orange pawn in a bag with three rubber bands. Then we have this these food items here. You see those? Uh, yeah. And it looks like there's different different diners. It's they they're saying the orders they want. So in the game. I've never played this game, um, and it's not what I, I was even aware of really until my wife got these for me. Occasionally she surprises me with great games. Um, but you're at a bus stop diner, and I think everyone gets off, a bunch of people get off the bus, and as a group, you know, it's a Jim Day Coke game, so it's a cooperative game. You have to, um, these are rules, you have to serve everyone the food that they want, or as many as you can. Right, so these people are saying what they want, and then here would be the foods and things, right? Uh. Yeah. And it comes with a little... Oh, you can get a catalog. Alright, well, you can get a copy of their catalog with this, if you send it in. And then it also comes with this board. Now, the board is a... there's a little bit of... This is not fully stuck on, but maybe this came out in 2001, maybe that happened in the interim. My wife got these from this, um, I forget what the place is called. It's like a, it's like a 10,000 villages type coffee shop, you, you know, they, they have like world goods, um, and they have a lot of Jim Daco games there, I guess. I gotta check it out. There's this, um, futuristic game I wanna get. Yeah. So, pretty nice board. It's a picture. I'm not sure how it reminds me of the game Sienna and that it doesn't seem like it's so much a board. It doesn't seem like there's really... Uh, I guess these would be spaces, huh? Maybe these are spaces. I don't know. Um, and I guess seats. Yeah, that might be. But it's more of a picture. Um, it's not so delineated as other boards are. Right? Would you agree? You want to see the board? You don't like this board? Uh, you do or you don't? O is kind of what he says for yes, but it also he says it for uh-huh. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited about this one. I always like to see what Jim Dayco produces. Okay. Yeah, should we put this one away and get another one? Uh, Alright, thanks for watching.